Computer Systems. In this lesson, we shall learn more about Input Devices, Central Processing Unit, Output Devices, Secondary Storage Devices, and Setting Up, and Cabling Tasks. Let us define a computer system. A computer system is a complete working computer that consists of hardware, software and liveware, the computer user, interacting together to perform a task. The integration of these components make a computer system. The components include 1. Hardware 2. Software 3. Liveware or computer user interacting together to perform a task. Hardware components are the physical devices found in a computer system and they consist of the mechanical, electrical and electronic parts whose functions can be categorized into 1. Input devices 2. Processing and memory devices 3. Output devices 4. Communication devices Software components are a set of detailed step-by-step -step instructions, also called programs, that enable a computer system to perform a task. These programs are usually stored and transferred through the computer's hardware to and from the CPU and also governs how the hardware is utilized. They are further grouped as 1. System software 2. Application software Liveware or orgware components are the computer users and are thought as components of the computer system. The users vary according to training and specialization. Examples of liveware are 1. Computer operators 2. Computer technicians 3. Computer programmers 4. Database administrators and 5. Network administrators This topic will help you distinguish the different components of the computer and be able to classify them into their respective categories. Input devices capture and convert human-readable data into computer-readable form. They are classified into five categories according to the way they capture data, namely keying devices, pointing devices, scanning devices, speech recognition devices, and digital devices. Input devices that are used commercially, for example, by banks, postal services, and supermarkets, must be able to read and capture large volumes of data very rapidly. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe keying, pointing, scanning, digital and speech recognition input devices. Input devices capture and convert human-readable data into a computer-readable form. They are classified into five categories according to the way they capture data, namely keying devices, pointing devices, scanning devices, speech recognition devices, and digital devices. 
Input devices that are used commercially, for example, by banks, postal services, and supermarkets, must be able to read and capture large volumes of data very rapidly. King devices are used for entering data for processing. Keyboards are the most frequently used input devices used to enter instruction and data through keys. Pointing devices are used for pointing on the screen for input and they include the mouse which is the standard PC pointing device, usually with two buttons. Touchscreen displays are user-friendly input devices, where the user touches the screen and the input is communicated directly to the computer. The trackballs, which are computer pointers resembling an inverted mouse. The pointing ball is rotated with the thumb, fingers, or the palm of the hand. The joystick is a general control device that consists of a handheld stick that pivots about one end and transmits its angle in two or three dimensions to a computer. Good trial. Keep trying to complete the exercise. Scanning devices produce a digital image of a document for input and storage in a computer, using technology similar to that of photocopier. Some of the scanning devices include 1. Magnetic ink character. Recognition also Magnetic ink character translate magnetically charged numbers printed at the bottom of bank checks and deposit slips into digitized signals. Optical mark reader read pencil marks and convert them into computer usable form. They are used to mark multiple choice exams. Image scanners convert text, drawings, and photographs into a digital form that can be stored in a computer.
Keep trying. Speech recognition devices uses the technology that allows the computer to identify and understand words spoken by a person using a microphone or telephone. The ultimate goal of the technology is to be able to produce a system that can recognize with 100% accuracy all words that are spoken by any person. Digital cameras are devices that produce images in a digital form that can be transmitted directly to a computer hard disk for manipulation, storage and printing. The CPU is the brain of the computer that interprets the computer program instructions and processes data. It is usually contained on a single integrated circuit or chip called a microprocessor and consists of the control unit, the CU, arithmetic logic unit, ALU, and memory. Computer cables are divided into two broad categories, namely power cables and interface cables. Power Computer cables are divided into two broad categories, namely power cables and interface cables. Power cables are links to and from the power supply unit, which supplies power to the other internal devices, while interface or data cables are links which connect the peripheral devices to the motherboard, transmitting data signals. The CPU is the brain of the computer that interprets the computer program instructions and processes data. It is usually contained on a single integrated circuit or chip called a microprocessor and consists of the control unit, the CU, arithmetic logic unit, ALU, and memory. When connecting computer peripherals, certain rules should be observed to make sure that the connection is done well. One of the rules that should be observed is the performing of an electrostatic discharge. Electrostatic discharge is the transfer of static electricity from one object to another. Our bodies also produce static electricity and static electricity that might have built up on the hands can be discharged by touching earthed metallic objects or wearing an anti-static wrist wrap. Also, make sure that you disconnect devices from power to give you room to connect the additional peripherals. Computer cables are divided into two broad categories, namely power cables and interface cables. An arithmetic logic unit, ALU, is the part of a computer that is divided into two units, an arithmetic unit, that is addition, subtraction, etc., and a logic unit, LU, that carries out arithmetic and logic operations, such as exclusive or and others between two numbers. Registers are special high-speed storage areas within the CPU. All data must be represented in a register before it can be processed. For example, if two numbers are to be multiplied, both numbers must be in the register and the result is also placed in a register. The main memory is also called primary storage, internal memory or random access memory, RAM. It is the working space in the computer. It is constructed from integrated circuits and needs to have electrical power in order to maintain its information. When power is lost, the information is lost too, and therefore, it is referred to as volatile memory. The main memory is expensive compared to external memory, so it has limited capacity.
The processor is the part of the computer that controls the execution of program instructions. All the other parts, input, output, and storage, must be connected to the processor because it controls these parts, just as the brain controls different parts of our bodies. Processors have speed at which they execute instructions, called clock speed. Clock controls how fast all operations take place. The faster the clock speed, the faster the processing. Computer speeds are measured in megahertz. One megahertz is equal to one million beats or machine cycles per second. There has been a remarkable growth in processing capability and clock speed of processors. There are three common types of processors, namely the Intel family, Intel 8086 and 8088, Intel 8083-6, Intel 8084-6, Intel 8028-6, Intel Pentium, Intel Celeron. The Advanced Micro Devices Computer Processor, or AMD, the Cyrix. They were the most identical and were used by the first IBM computers. Intel decided to coin their fifth generation with the name Pentium instead of the numbers. They were powerful compared to the first processors, or the main circuit system in the system unit had a slot for an optional math coprocessor. They were the first upgradable processors. Intel decided to coin their fifth generation with the name Pentium instead of the numbers. They were the first upgradable processors. They were powerful compared to the first processors, or the main circuit system in the system unit had a slot for an Intel decided to coin their fifth generation with the name Pentium instead of the numbers. They were the most identical and were used by the first IBM computers. It is a software that controls the hardware and the software resources and the activities that take place in a computer. It also creates a link between the liveware, the hardware and the software. Computer systems. In this lesson, we shall learn By the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe soft copy and hard copy output devices. Well done!
Keying devices are used for entering data for processing. Keyboards are the most frequently used input devices used to enter instruction and data through keys. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe soft copy and hard copy output devices. Output devices display information that has been held or generated within a computer, converting machine-readable data that has been processed into human-readable form. They can be categorized into soft copy and hard copy output devices. Soft copy output devices produce output that is temporary and intangible, while hard copy devices produce output that is permanent and tangible. Examples of output devices are 1. Visual display unit, an example of which is the common monitor. 2. Speakers which produce sound. 3. Printers. Printers produce a permanent hard copy of the information on paper. Types of printer may include dot matrix, inkjet printer and laser jet printer. Pointing devices are used for pointing on the screen for input and they include the mouse, which is the standard PC pointing device, usually with two buttons. Touchscreen displays are user-friendly input devices, where the user touches the screen and the input is communicated directly to the computer. The trackballs, which are computer pointers resembling an inverted mouse. The pointing ball is rotated with the thumb fingers or the palm of the hand. The joystick is a general control device that consists of a handheld stick that pivots about one end and transmits its angle in two or three dimension to a computer. Secondary storage or external memory is computer memory that is not directly accessible to the central processing unit of a computer. It requires the use of computer's input or output channels to connect it to the computer. Secondary storage is usually slower than primary storage or internal memory, but it has higher storage capacity and is non-volatile, meaning that it is perfect for the preservation of stored information in an event of power loss. Examples of secondary storage include floppy disk, magnetic tapes, flash disks, CD and DVD. By the end of this lesson, you're expected to identify hardware specifications when acquiring computer hardware and factors to consider when acquiring computer software.
Magnetic tape is a thin plastic tape that has been coated with magnetic substance for storing data. They were commonly used as secondary storage medium for large computer systems. Nowadays, they are mainly used to provide backup or duplication storage and archiving of data. Magnetic tapes are not very popular because accessing data on tapes is usually slow. Magnetic disks are secondary storage medium that allows data to be held as magnetized spots. They are the most commonly used storage devices. They come in two different types, diskettes and hard disks. Optical disks are removable disks on which data is written and read through the use of laser beams. CD-ROM stands for Compact Disk Read-Only Memory. It is an optical disk format used to hold data and software, such as pre-recorded text, graphics, and sound. The contents of CD-ROM are recorded at the time of manufacture and cannot be written or erased by the user. Take this feature makes CD-ROMs excellent media for software distribution. CDs have the following types. CD-ROM disks, CD-R disks, CD-RW disks. DVDs have more storage capacity, faster data transfer rate, deliver high quality pictures and sounds as compared to CDs. DVDs have the following types, DVD-ROM discs, DVD-R discs, and DVD-RW discs. Flash discs are a variation of computer memory chips that are used to simulate main memory and to supplement or replace hard disk drives for permanent data storage. Hard disks are thin, rigid metal or glass platters covered with a substance that allows data to be held on magnetized spots. They are usually tightly sealed within an enclosed unit to prevent any foreign matter such as dust or smoke from getting inside. If you don't have room in the system unit for another internal hard disk but need additional storage, then you can use an external hard disk that can be connected to the computer the same way you would connect any peripheral device. Removable hard disks or hard disk cartridges consist of one or more platters enclosed along with the read or write heads in a hard plastic case. This case is inserted into a drive connected to the computer. Examples of removable hard disks include jazz cartridges which can hold 2 GB or more and zip cartridges which can hold more than 100 MB.
Computer cables are divided into two broad categories, namely power cables and interface cables. Power cables are links to and from the power supply unit, which supplies power to other internal devices. Interface or data cables are links which connect the peripheral devices to the motherboard, transmitting data signals. Cables are connected to ports. A port allows you to use a cable to plug a peripheral device such as a monitor or a printer so that it can communicate with the computer system. Ports and interface cables are of different types, namely parallel, serial, and universal serial board, USB. Parallel cables are mainly used for connecting printers and removable storage devices and are connected to parallel ports which connect the computer motherboard. Parallel cables transmit data and information simultaneously. That is, they transmit 8 bits at the same time. The main advantage of these cables is that they transmit data faster than serial cables. They are mainly used for connecting printers and removable storage drives for example, zip drives. Parallel ports connect parallel cables to the motherboard. A parallel port has 25 holes. This type of port is known as a female connector. A computer internally labels each parallel port with the letters LPT. The first parallel port is named LPT1. The second parallel port is named LPT2 and so on. Serial cables transmit data slower than parallel cables, but are more reliable. They are used with serial ports. The universal serial port that connects the USB cable is a multi-purpose port that allows one to connect many devices to the computer. The same port can be used to connect a printer, joystick, scanner, mouse, and keyboard to your computer. The advantage of universal serial port is that the transmission of data is fast. USB is a multi-purpose type of port that allows one to connect up to 127 devices using only one port. Firewire is a high-speed, low-cost serial bus system designed to provide efficient transfer of data between a peripheral device and a computer.
These port and interface cables transmit data in parallel but are faster than parallel cables. SCSI port allows connection of more than eight peripheral devices linked together in what is called a daisy chain along an extended cable. These devices include external hard disk drives, magnetic tape units, scanners, and CD-ROM drives. Earlier computers used the 5-pin DIN for connecting the keyboards, but this has now been replaced by the 6-pin mini DIN known as PS2. These ports are used to connect the monitor outside the computer to the video adapter card inside the system unit. The two most common connectors used for monitors are the 9-pin D and the 15-pin D. The pins must be compatible with the number of holes in the video adapter card. The following rules should be observed before you carry out setup activity. Disconnect all devices from power. Discharge static electricity that might have built up on the hands by touching an earthed metallic object or wearing an anti-static wrist strap. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify hardware specifications when acquiring computer hardware and factors to consider when acquiring computer software. The operating system is the platform on which applications such as word processing and spreadsheet programs run on. Softwares are used along with the hardware components of the computer. Therefore, one should acquire good software in order to achieve their goals. Factors that you need to consider are 1. Authenticity Authentic software is one that is protected by end-user license agreement. It is illegal to acquire pirated software that is not accompanied by the certificate of authenticity. 2. Reliability a reliable software is one which is error-free and stable. You should select softwares which will not bring you problems in the future. 3. User needs 4. Human-computer interface Interface is the interaction between you and the computer, and it can be either graphical or menu-based. 5. Compatibility and portability Compatibility refers to its ability to work smoothly in other platforms, while portability is concerned with the possibility of transferring a software from one machine to another. 6. Cost. Cost can be a limiting factor in software acquisition, and in most cases, people look for cheaper alternatives. When selecting a computer system, the hardware components should be considered in order to acquire a computer system that matches your needs. These considerations include A. Processor. Processors are of different speeds. The speed of the processor gives it its power, and the higher the speed, the more powerful the computer. B. Memory. 
The bigger the memory, the faster the computer. Acquiring the right capacity of memory is important because certain software require a minimum amount of memory to run comfortably. C. Upgradability. There is need to acquire a computer that is easily upgradable. This is of great importance due to the rapid change in technology. Computer devices may be rendered obsolete if they cannot be upgraded to work with the latest technology. When selecting a computer system, the hardware components should